health officials across the valley, state, and country, of course, growing more concerned with the recent rise in flu, COVID, and RSV cases as people start to gather for the different holidays this season. And joining us now live this morning to talk about how we can protect ourselves is Dr. Trinidad Solis with the Fresno County Department of Public Health and uh, the Health Department. Uh, Dr. Solis, good morning. It's just given a warning to everyone. First, let's talk about these current numbers and the positivity rate. Right now, the rate in Fresno County is 12.3 percent. And I looked at the data on your website. It says that's almost double in the past two weeks. Right? Yes, good morning, everyone. And correct, right now we're seeing a rise uh, not only in COVID cases, but also RSV and flu. And this rise in cases is heavily impacting our local hospitals. And we really saw a peak right after this Thanksgiving holiday. Wow, and that's just in timing with that two week mark there. So then it leads us to wonder okay, we got Christmas coming up, more holiday gatherings, more events, people are out and about. What is the health department's message on masking and wearing a mask ahead of the holiday season? Yes, well, because of this rise in the respiratory illnesses impacting our hospitals, the Fresno County Department of Public Health currently is strongly recommending that everyone wear face masks uh, in public indoor settings. And this is because face masks offer uh, an extra layer of protection against these viruses that offer air when someone coughs or sneezes. So they're another tool besides vaccination that helps protect, uh, protect us against these illnesses. And as you mentioned, we know that more people are going to gather during these upcoming festive holidays, and we want them to gather in a safe way, meaning if they're going to be indoors, um, open windows, doors to increase ventilation, and also wear those masks because they really do offer protection, especially for those individuals that are considered high risk. Right. And just for a reminder for our viewers, Dr. Solis, high-risk individuals, um, that is the elderly and anyone with a pre-existing uh, pre condition? Correct. So anyone over 50 um, is considered uh, older age when we're talking about COVID and these respiratory illnesses. As you mentioned, uh, chronic diseases like uh, diabetes, asthma, obesity. So all of these conditions increase someone's risk of having complications. And doctor, we've seen before mask mandates, uh, you know, county, statewide. Do you think some, some, you know, predicting this is a precursor for maybe another mask mandate at some point if we see these numbers get higher, do we think we could see that in our society again? Well, we are currently monitoring these case counts for the different illnesses, uh, the impact on their hospitals, and we're working with the California Department of Public Health with this as well. Um, so if these numbers continue to rise, um, we, we will have those discussions, and if the state uh, considers or talks about mask mandates, then we will follow suit. Okay, so just tracking the numbers right now, keeping a close eye on hospitals and positivity rate for travel. Uh, we're almost out of time, Dr. Solis, but for travel, smart idea to maybe keep a mask with you if you're doing some holiday traveling? Definitely. So when uh, individuals travel, uh, they tend to be, uh, especially airplanes and buses, they tend to be in poorly ventilated areas where it's crowded. So the risk of getting exposed to these winter viruses is high. So we definitely recommend wearing your mask and also testing, doing a, a COVID test uh, right before your trip and three to five days after you return uh, just to make sure uh, and check if you're, uh, you're positive or not. Excellent. Dr. Trinidad Solis with the Fresno County Health Department. Dr. We're out of time, but thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right. Take care. And also in Fresno.